Today we're with Jimena Turner. She's the Director of Education for Alamos Winery in Argentina. Jimena is uh, very international. Her dad is Welsh, her mother is Argentine, and she's traveled and has ed been educated all over the world. And today she's going to talk to us about Alamos. Hello, Jimena. Hello, how are you? Thank we're you doing for well. Having me here. Thanks. Um, and you've brought a wine with us with you today. This is the Alamos Red Blend. Would you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, well, um, like you said before, I work for Alamos. We have a beautiful portfolio in Alamos. We have Torrentes, Chardonnay, Cabernet, two Malbecs, and we thought that we were missing something. So we decided to come with this red blend that actually we realize consumers are looking into red blends. And when we were doing, uh, thinking about doing this red blend, we thought that we wanted to do something that will represent Mendoza terroir. So it's a beautiful red blend because you have the grapes that most grow in Mendoza. And one of those grapes is Bonarda. Bonarda is the second most grown grape in Mendoza. Also has Tempranillo that comes uh, from Spain. And also it's, uh, we have a lot of plenty of Tempranillo in Mendoza because the Spanish brought it over there. And of course has San Malbec and uh, Cabernet Franc and a little bit of Syrah. So I like it very much because I say it's a red blend of all the grapes that you find in Mendoza. Uh, what would you describe the wine as, uh, and f what kind of foods and what kind of uh, social setting is it is suited for, Himena? I always say that uh, we make wines because we like to drink and we like to eat. And what we eat in Argentina, I think, uh, you know, it's meat, so it goes perfect with barbecue. And because of our Italian influence, we have a lot of pasta and red sauce, so it goes very well with that as well. This is a red wine that you can have it in winter and in summer. And um, what, what do we see the price range of this wine for these days in the United States in a, on a retail basis? Uh, $12. $12, okay. Anything else about the, uh, how about just a few seconds about the harvest of 2011? Just give us an idea of what was going on in Argentina. Well, as you know, now we are um, Argentina's opposite weather, so we did have a very nice harvest. And it was a very long one, actually it was most long than other years. So we started our harvest in February and we finished in April. And the reason that was a long harvest was because the weather allowed to us. When you think about Mendoza, you have to think about it as a desert. Uh, we only have 12 inches of rain per year, and we have 360 days of sun, so it's ideal for the grapes. So we did have a very nice harvest, no rain, very, uh, the weather was not hot. As you know, you, you want the weather not to be that hot. And the thing that helped us a lot is because all our vineyards are located in high altitude. And when I say high altitude, we're talking about vineyards that they go from 3,000 feet to 5,000 feet. So you have a lot of sunlight intensity, but you have cool weather. Well, thank you very much for coming with us today to join us on the blend and to show us the new, the new baby from the Alamos Winery. And we wish you a lot of luck in America. And thanks for stopping by and seeing us at the blend, Jimena. Thank you so much.